I found this in Ikea and it's a cool little piece, but it could use some pizzazz. And I want it to be colorful and fun and cute. And I came up with an idea for it that is gonna be nice. So in today's video, I'm going to be refinishing this little guy I found at Ikea. It's nice and simple and people might like it like that, but I don't. And I'm putting it into my soon to be workshop space inside that I'm making one of my guest rooms into. And it's gonna be a colorful, fun space. So this needs to do that as well. My plan is to paint it and there'll be a few colors involved. And then I'm not a big fan of these little divots for your fingers. I know they're necessary to open it, but if you get your own handle, it's no longer necessary. So if you turn it around, it will look a little bit more professional and nice. And you can get any type of handle you want, but I got these cute little like label antique looking things and it also has a handle so I'm gonna put these on it they're a little bigger than I thought they would be and I feel like this reminds me of like those ancient masks anyway <laughs> not important but I'm gonna put these on there and then that will help open it and then I'm also putting some feet on it which I think what I got is kind of too small, but a lot of feet are either for like big furniture or small jewelry boxes. And I didn't want like super big, so I went small for the jewelry box. And they might look weird and kind of small, but I'll see if it works. First thing I'm gonna do is to cover the table and then sand it because some areas are a little rougher than I would like and just take some of the splintery places out. And then prime it, paint it, put the accessories on, voila. Let's do this. You want to see something as I wait for these to dry? They're pretty cool. I don't know why I couldn't finish eating before I started this. Excuse me. <laughs> when I was at Ikea and got this, I also found, which I've kind of been looking for, kind of not, I've wanted some cute kitchen towels. And right now I just use like a real towel because I like how it actually works. <laughs> and most kitchen towels don't, which these that I got aren't my favorite either, but they're adorable. So I keep the towel underneath, you can't see it. I keep the towel underneath the cute ones. And so I have function and beauty, but I came across these and I was like, these match my kitchen perfectly. So I'll have to show them to you. They're like the perfect mint green for my kitchen. See the fridge? See this? See this chair? See this? <gasps> they match. And there's so many cute ones. It came in a pack of four and it was a good price. And my kitchen's adorable now. <laughs> anyway. That's all I have to share. I'm gonna finish my food and wait for these to dry. Right. I 
I've got an idea for the drawers, and it's to use three different colors with sample paint that I have left over from my terrazzo wall in the bathroom. And I think these three colors will look good together on there. It'll be its own thing. It probably won't be everyone's taste. Hopefully it will be mine. We'll see. I photoshopped what everything was going to look like, but that can only give you a an idea. In real life sometimes it just doesn't work. So you find out. Let's see. I can dip and then that and then roll. <laughs> okay. You got it. the most efficient, but it'll work. <laughs> back in here just to get a feel for how it's going. But not push them all the way in because there's no handles yet. Okay. Next is to put these on there and each one will get one so I just have to figure out where exactly I want them drill some pilot holes and then drill the screws in yeah thing I need to do is to put and this could this could be tough but I need to put the feet on the bottom of this the good thing is that at first I thought these tiny screws were still going to be too long and they would be except for the I didn't add the thickness of this piece so going through this and this will be fine because that would cause a problem if this was going through too far because then the bottom drawer would have problems. But we are fine. So look how tiny these screws are though. Like, can you see? Like if you drop those, you're done. And then these will just go on the edges like so. Um, so I'm gonna mark this, mark, mark, and then get a tiny little drill bit and do a pilot hole first. I've read reviews and people have trouble with the wood splitting, so pilot holes. I'm not very much on camera. Get on this. 
get a good angle because I don't want to break this. Okay. So gonna do the other ones while I'm here. These are tiny screws. I feel like it's gonna be hard to get these started maybe. Cause they so tiny. They're like my size screws, but I don't want screws my size. I might be able to do this without standing on the chair. Oh, how, how is this gonna work? Yes. It's gonna be fine. Man, it's very helpful to have small hands right now. Ha ha ha. Now I'm gonna put it together and we'll have the reveal. I know it might not be everybody's cup of tea. I don't care if you liked it. I liked it. <laughs> At least hopefully it gave you ideas of what's possible when you're redoing something to make it your own. Comment below, like this video, subscribe if you wanna see more, which I hope you do, because there's some cool stuff coming. And yeah. I will see you in my next video. Okay. All right, all right. In today's video, welcome to today's video. Okay, in today's, in today's video,